Now my egg with a call. Um, I'm gonna miss a new. Mm, Sena, Sena. Like, share, subscribe. <laughs> the way they say on YouTube all the time. You remind me of uh, some of the people who, who say that. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, share. There's a lot of time we can get that. Yes, we can. Okay. Well, we have a special guest today, so let us introduce our special guest. Welcome. So, Hashama Harkafune, our Guyahana Weekly Press Conference to Jalam Tu, Tanawaji Dawa Chujo Tu, Adesena Jinjumo, and the fabulous Tissue Tea. Welcome. Oh, I think, is that your microphone? Can you hear us, T? I can hear you guys. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. I guess we have to mute ourselves if we're not talking. I think it's on the phone. That's why. I, I think. Oh, okay. I, it's, uh, oh, echo. The computer. I don't know why it's. Okay, it's fine. Um. So yes, welcome. So akadindenye chine takati ufana romoti gona chine takafana gujenya akadinde akayada genya. We want to integrate ufana gujenya to our communities. Why it not irad banu irahedu aka namni ufan or mumbene aka targeti kenya is namakasi ta ingenia de gefa tu. We want to spread awareness amongst our non oromo community. So difamanogora, yo isiniti jabate, humamiti, odu henduk amnet, ufan or mumbichaza u. Nuran deminas, hunger and desus no opsa. Galatoma. So today we want to talk about a few different things. Um, we want to target topics like what's going on in Yemen, um, what's happening with this resolution, and so on. So um, I think maybe, you know, it's a lot of things that I'm seeing different communities do is giving a moment of silence to the lives lost in Yemen. So if you guys agree, maybe we can give them a moment of silence in respect to um, their lives being tragically lost. Yeah. Okay, so we'll just do uh, 30 seconds, moment of silence. Okay, Galatoma, you know, um, it's tragic. One is funny today. It's uh, our community's worst nightmare. As Oromos, um, it's tragedy after tragedy. And to see so many, and to see virtually, you know, so many lives be lost um, just so simply, you know, it's, it's, it saddens me. And I'm sure it saddens a lot of you watching and the people that are sitting here with me today. So um, let's start with just talking about what, like maybe, you know, T and uh, Sena, you guys can share with us a little bit of what you guys know about the situation and um, how can we support our brothers in Yemen, brothers and sisters. Go ahead, Sena. Okay, um, I was wondering, is it me or is it T? You didn't say anything. <laughs> uh, first yeah. of all, we do, uh, T, welcome for joining us at HATA. Uh, that give a total kena, just FYI, come back to me. We've been getting a lot, um, the morning by you know, to be side journey where you're on to in why you're on over by now. Girl, second time kissing, I found a room with your name. Can I feel you? 
afan ingelesa guru kabdeni at least afan ingelesa segmenti yoki amu wala ka guru kabdeni jeneni iba tujara so uh, asindro thorban la majora leka sini jeneni segmenta kini jiru fremna kanjuro toko tujara sone the still and progress ida tujara kalabara jara kana fi you uh, maybe uh, baka gari gari baka bar bachi saate wa e resolution ala te afan romo kindu perne jena uh, the rest of the conversation ku wani uh, romo audience yu ambar banu fi because wani uh, sinu timu kuni already wan beg tani wani sinu Uh, so I'll just go from there. I think it's uh, important that uh, <clears throat> we give a summary and a final room and then uh, focus uh, the issue, uh, targeted issues by a final room and the rest should be in English because uh, we have an audience of nanoromos who are interested to understand what's going on, what we're trying to do, and support the cause, support the movement that we are doing. Uh, because of that, I think moving forward, we really need to be focusing in English, universal language that people understand. With that uh, with that in mind, I want to say again, uh, T, thank you. And thanks uh, for joining. We go back years, generation, <laughs> and it's uh, happy to have you. <laughs> and then, um, Unfortunately, uh, Nadi, you asked a very sad question, and we know we start this segment with a, a moment of silence about what happened in Yemen. I think uh, our hearts sank, and what really upset me, I, I, I guess let me just uh, give a background a little bit on Yemen, is that everybody know Yemen have been uh, in a stable country, the Saudis, and uh, the, basically the majorities and minorities are fighting, and Saudi is keeping very much the minority in power, And uh, what happened over the weekend was, that from what I heard from the people who are in Yemen, is there seemed to be some type of retaliation against the UN. And this is very, and uh, we're still trying to investigate. We are trying to write to letter to the UN. We are trying to write to a IOM, uh, people who are uh, focused organization that focus on these refugee issues. Nevertheless, even whether it's that's UN targeted for whatever reason, that is a refugee camp that was targeted. According to the IOM, that refugee camp holds about 700 people. According to Oromos, at least 450 or more Oromos were killed. Some number at the standard say 350. IOM say about 30 people were killed and BBC say about 170 people were killed. So the number varies hugely. And these people are majority of Oromo because at this point, there is no other ethnic group fleeing Ethiopia. Uh, people, the Tigray people are fleeing, but they are fleeing to Sudan. And the only people, other people fleeing Ethiopia, the current regime is the Oromos. And they are the one majority of them are in Yemen. And unfortunately, majority of those people based on the accent that also happen to be Muslim. Um, my, my, that tells me that if the, this killed work to be Christians, that today the world will go crazy. Many organizations would be like, oh my God, 330 Christian was murdered. But because they're you know, a Muslim uh, that I feel like does have some kind of a uh, uh, tone for the, the way the silence. And above all, what really kills me is two things, Nadia, for me and she can add on it is that uh, what kills me is two things. It's not even about the death of Roma people, it's the silence that always follows the death of Roma people. Yes, people die. It, it, unfortunately, deaths have become so common ground in Ethiopia right now. We obviously condemn deaths. If that's committed by Oromo people, we are condem we condemn them. It doesn't matter who's committing the crime. It doesn't matter who's doing the raping. We condemn them equally, and they need to be accountable. They need to be held accountable for that tragedy, for you know what's happening in Olaga, what's happening in so many parts of Oromia. We condemn them equally, but what really pains me the most is like, When any other ethnic group dies, oh my God, what happened? Like, you know, what happened to those uh, so called uh, uh, Ethiopians at Ethiopia first? How come they haven't said anything? What about Ethiopian government? That's the second thing that really pissed me off is that this many people died. What happened to silence from Ethiopian Human Rights Commission, from Ethiopian media agencies? What happened to the Ethiopian government? Where are their voice? This many citizens, citizens died. In Yemen, even Yemenis have fled uh, Yemen because it's unsafe for anybody to be there. And Oromos, and, to, and, I, and I really do call on my people to stop going to these countries. Really, the same thing with uh, with the Saudis. We write like we write we we are individuals ourselves are refugees in a different country. We can't really make a dent on what's going on. There's Oromo refugee issues in Yemen, in Libya, 
in Saudi, in Kenya, in Somalia, in South Africa, in every country, there is a human rights crisis of against targeting normal people. It's like killing normal people is actually less than killing a dog. I feel like people will have more empathy. So I urge my people, well, hopefully we'll do another segment on it. But on this particular one is that I'm very sad the lack of silence from media in the Ethiopian government in the international community and that really what breaks me more than the death of it and obviously my deepest condolence goes to the family the friends and everybody that kind of got fire, got cut in the middle fire this is the fight between the two ethnic group in Yemen and uh, they wanted to make a statement from what I heard they wanted to make a statement uh, to UN that if UN does not back out if UN does not and give them a lot of money that they're going to target the refugee because that's where concentrated people you can really kill them and nobody will kind of hold you accountable because as far as it cares abi himself is committing uh, ethnic cleansing uh, genocide therefore as far as he's concerned now uh, if you kill about 500 or almost uh, this is 500 less of what he has to wear i'll just stop it there very true thank you Zena. um I think what you touched on that's important is that people are not speaking up, you know, human rights organizations, the communities, they're not speaking up. And it's true, um, the fact that it's not only just that they're Muslim, but it happened to a Muslim state. Um, things, tragedies that happen in Muslim areas, like, you know, Yemen, Syria, et cetera, they're dismissed in a sense, you know, they're looked at like, oh, this is common or this is the norm for them. And it shouldn't be like that because a life is a life, whether it be one, whether it be 450. So, you know, um, T, I would like to hear what you have to say about this. Uh, thanks for having me today. Um, both of you have said what needs to be said. It's extremely, not just sad, but horrifying activities uh, almost all over the world uh, against the Romos. Uh, my condolences to the families and friends that are affected into the entire nation of uh, the oral people. Uh, this is extremely uh, sad occurrence and uh, um, it's painful to watch. Uh, not just because they're almost because they're uh, human. Uh, um, why is this happening? Why are they in the first place in the position? Uh, uh, that's because if you go back to Ethiopia, young people, which as everybody knows that most of the population in Ethiopia is a, uh, the youth, um, uh, most of them are fleeing um, because they have no opportunities for jobs. Uh, They're being harassed. Uh, their livelihood is, is being threatened there's extrajudicial killings by the government force. I mean, this is a sanctioned killings. Uh, this is not just true for Ethiopians, but uh, for Oromos in Ethiopia, but for other nations and nationalities within Ethiopia. Uh, so this is, they're escaping, they're running away from, from a dire situation and they put it themselves in, uh, in a position uh, in a harm's way. And this is uh, very saddening because they run into the same thing they're running away from. Um, and then once it happens, uh, you will expect uh, other Ethiopians around the world, as we've seen in the past, when things similar things happen in Saudi Arabia, everybody's Facebook uh, uh, profile changed to a candle and pray for Ethiopia and Ethiopians and things of such nature, uh, uh, but this is largely ignored. Uh, and the government, uh, I might be wrong, but I haven't seen any statement that's been made. Uh, the ambassador, there's and other ambassadors in different countries um, have not said a word about, uh, maybe I'm ignorant to what they have said, but I haven't heard anything. Uh, in general, all in all is very disheartening and um, um, more attention should be given to the situation. Um, what's, what's being done to prevent this to have from happening in the future? 
Uh, I have no idea uh, from the government. I don't know if they care at all if uh, these lives are lost because they are normal lives. Uh, uh, and this is uh, uh, heartbreaking. So how do you think we can get this? Sorry to cut you off, but how do you think we can get more of our communities to to shake up and really like not only get um, our uh, like our Canadian, American, European government to speak up, but even the Ethiopian government. The fact that the Ethiopian government hasn't put out a statement. These are Ethiopians. They talk about you know one Ethiopia. You know this is just like we are one Ethiopia. So where is that one Ethiopian now that? all these people have died and not even a simple statement, a simple sign of respect. Like, how can we get that even just from our own Ethiopian government? Uh, b before I go to that, uh, before I even go to holding accountable, uh, I want to point my finger towards the Oromo community, the Oromo mm -hmm. diaspora community. Uh, what are our, uh, our responsibilities? Uh, uh, according to one of uh, a very great coach that I work with, Coach Rafiq Hassan, um, a good brother that I work with, he tells me at night when you go home, can you look yourself in the mirror and mm -hmm. say, I've done what I'm supposed to do. I've done what I can do. And some, as a rural community, have we done enough to advocate? Have we done enough? to extend our helping hands. Are we done, have we done enough to uh, mitigate the problem before it even gets to this point? I think the first people I would point out to is to myself and to my community. Yeah. Have we done enough? And uh, to the Ethiopian rhetoric, when we talk about this one Ethiopia and things like that, uh, we've seen of, um, time and time again, that's not the case. Uh, the only time uh, Oromo will be welcome is if you lose your identity, drop the name Oromo or the culture Oromo. Uh, and then if you identify yourself as Ethiopia, that's not Oromo, uh, homogenized Oromo, then they will rally behind you and say, oh man, we're sad. Uh, but if you come as an Oromo and uh, identify yourself as an Oromo, the, the support has been minimum or non-existent to say the least and mm. I, don't expect, I don't expect much from that much from that uh camp but i do expect a lot from our own community and I'll absolutely absolutely i agree i think we need and sometimes it's not just protesting you know taking to the streets and um and yelling and screaming of course these are things that we need in our communities but we need more we need more letters we need to you know demand meetings with you know, our officials so that they, they can pass along our messages that need to get taken to the higher ups. There needs to be some kind of, even if you're not going to do anything, recognize that lives were lost. Let's just start from the simple thing like that. And that recognition comes from, yes, the diaspora. We have to do better in creating that awareness. Um, this would lead us into my next question, um, which I want uh, Sena actually to answer, but if you could do it in the final moment, because it's something that we need to update our community in. So why um, resolution is to take the I would like for you to just um, tell us about it. Hanga uh, they say, just tell us a little bit about it and what Oromos can do in um, transition of, because it's not for Oromos. How can we be a part of that conversation? Hi, yeah. that is a very good uh, question. I want to come to the but I just want to add uh, to you. Can I say, I'm a lay mark, I know, Sigale. It is not the brutality of our enemy, it's the silence of our friend. What about those Oromos who support people who are in Ethiopia? Ethiopia is Oromotijan. I ye may people parting could Oromo for Abbatayoki, um, Namaf Abbatayogene. What is the condemnation? What is the silence? Maf Dubane. What is Sigale? Yato Kuma Ethiopia, to Kuma Ethiopia. To come into a pair of more yodu to Ilano. More only what it will be. You man the two to a better day. I'm worried, I'm in Jeru. Why, these are poor people, Mata Hies. So, Sigale can ajive Sisu or Romo Maca or Mojeda and Romora to come into a better garage or more yodu to or more yodu to Duban or Royo Hitaman Duban or Sabni Bravo Hitam or Mona Hitam or Mobin Samitia. 
So kan aja di sini, I think gafi, I think hasil rati gafi wal resolutiona jumaat bahe sanat resolutiona ya ada mata umat orang mungkin sejuru ya rokan kesetti media data tulis kami kan juru ya cula kan ini tu kami jarak terfikir dapat ajar. First of all jadi kami makan alat kaya cara kan apa yang demi dapat cukup berbang. Kalau kalau kan community leaderi yang manager lah. Or more global community, or more community cherry can never be done again because no matter what you do, like one day, if you want to, why? Jumaat the day, I'm a war. I miss the, I'm a right watching. The department is saying, "I'm a hurry rock up directly from the end. I'm directly hurry rock up." Kalele mo, we run the resolution. Kada kada bego jinile back and forth email at the nature of the chula. Kana je chuma sni fakat na mukie na kabe ko kabdo. Kebaya hukum abdi ni, I'm pretty sure semua pun, itu pun dihukum semua kesan kesan ni jadi ayah lah, because orang mahu gato kufui only, wa air resolution akan diikat. Resolution office ni resolution akan bahasa Oktober ini berkumpul mahu segala jadual kami resolution akan kita atur resolution akan diikat oleh jadual. Walau kena embeikan wal orang yang kesan jero, jero kami ju audit. Euro kami juga audit orang ramai rakun esa agak major. Garu agak ini susun ini translate the eighteen publicly bahu dat abejer. Karena rati isi mal guru dan data ni nujuh mal guru ajar rakaja rufa ke gudam. Kasih rati duduk bannya agak kalau sehati sekitar eastern time ni warga ni jenna community kesan tak awak kami tak kira macam berbad ni kira macam yo fit ni mal tu tak eh mal tu tak ajar mal guru dan data kerja at the end of the day. Resolusi ni bahaya. Aku mager tu exclusively wae nan nuci rakyat tu fokus pada jalan. Okay, orang mohon buat jadi orang mohon hidup kesi jadi orang mohon berbisan sabar main jalan. Mana faham dunia, mana faham kesi tu Amerika, Eropah, Nuta, Kanada, Kanada ni hujan dah lagi. Nukuh faham itu Allah mesti ada kesi hidup jalan. Isini juga betang kesi from Ohio to Arizona to Portland to Canada. Agar terjat everywhere orang mohon Eropah kami juga oleh tim motor mah adunya kan berbisan jalan. Never the less fokusi engkau nak kau kata iman tu ikan jero. But ina ni gak gak kena asof ni jalan. Dulu cerita kan ada tiga mana dia tengah kau betul hidup betul ke? Tak tinggal lagi ni, inklusif ini, nanti kita akan foto untuk ini jala. Garuk barat fokus ini jala eksklusif itu. Akan apa itu? Rumi di jira ada apa? Cakram ini jira jadi. So we are talking back, back and forth with them. Ini jira ni kerja lusuh ni. Kebetulan kita ada detail yang asal ni jenna. Garuk resolusi ni kuni kan? 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 Bersisul, bersisul. Dah harki kami ni mesti lebih berundur untuk kau ni urfata. Because at the end of the day, umat itu ayo ki umat orang mahu kau bayar cuma umat mahu kau jual. Umat mahu kau, umat itu Amerika mahu kau bayar. Umat Amerika kan temu. Nanti aku umat baca tato kote. Setuju nabi yang kanal lewat tato. Iminu ilahlu, imma itu itu se foreign issue. Dah wajib di Amerika tu. Wajib tidak tuh tiada. Sangkai sahaja beri mahu rakun orang mahu rati dema jero rakun anu tiga rati dema jero. Tukut tu ur abu nampi kena le amanu kawan nampi kena fura tu kawan. Kan tigra ira tidi mudu guga seni le se ethnic cleansing. Arga jutan video as bahajur. So the more video kan arga ni umani shark tu eh ini berkurus segar segar tu mungkin segar tu mungkin segar Rwanda seni akan hidup muka mi atau Amerika hidup tu kan afi you want to just report ajar tu orang kan tu first of all just stop the war, stop the killing. Do it it abisu etra biji ke sabasula. So kan afi kan rati. Fokusin jalan, kanun jalan ni, rakun orang muka redema jual, iban ibat tergaj jalan, ni jalan, biji sini, akad akad duri sini, filan no bili sah, filan no fair and free election, ibu tiga jalan, orang obviously syakik kesi jalan, nama Martinul ibu tiga jalan, amma garu kerap kau dia rata dia jalan, at least kamu mahu mengira kan akad jalan ni, the first thing in yo rakun iruba ibat ibat rakun orang muka kronik and acute ada pun orang muka kronik ini, saya ongoing for so long, it's not like hal kini tu aku am from mula mula di balai warga di hidup di, laku nama tu jadi jadi orang muka is like acute, aku am ibu di sini mula eh albin sini mula tu yoki ibu dia, you have to stop it, the definition abu bar, amu nak kau tu rasa duga er fanon amara tv, milisha nanu amara, orang itu alat tv, aku semua sih cegur dia semara, walit itu eh ini duga kau sini kau ajar, budaya itu jadi mana buku tu je, mana mantap buku tu je, nama aje susu tu je, karena abu berbarang pun amu immediately action want ikan media tu dia lagi ni, so they want to first and foremost stop the war, stop the killing, stop the genocide, stop abiyipi asmara cik sabasu waramara, yero kami juga orang tu amar ramu orang tu je tu google logo tu amar buka sajit ani tanu amanam dushas.
amara umata guto tonde amara milishas kana wajin wethi ata mane kijiba na kuno bal makero makabele sano tonde amata mane sera ICC kuna korte biya chule mane abigi waliti akasmas etra waliti kanjelo so resolution ni kungaba ye galgala bati nani mal tu di majira kanjelo wana sera tindo bani wato ka galgala kan sa sa gal istani rati tichula community kesi ni Wanita kalau jod agak hubah te, asal rata gaya ni cerita ni community leader ni kesan gak fatda mal tu jira nuti mahajar ni because we are gonna talk to them one house hari rob. Kalau 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 le, you know, Afrika sedar dan hasa kamna advocacy kan aku faham ni garim dah le, kalau Afrika le kan advocacy boleh jadi nuti jira. Why especially pelan nuti fuga nanti boleh tidak tapi pelan nuti kan inta umu ni gak faham te, akum te discredit kau na pelan nuti pun itu fuga jira because abby what he need is legitimacy. Legitimacy kan amu, namun if ayah do, he's gonna go for Nanti aku mahu korang dengar di lejut mai sebab eleksi nak kena buat urut cura. So anyway, up to amat jadi nadia in eras ini jadi resolusi ni kau fokusin isan ah not cikai rati. Sebab apa isan amu? Sebab apa genocide? Sebab apa ethnic cleansing? Acer rati day maju fi. Umum Ethiopia, umum dunia once and all. At issue nisa ane raji nanti saya. At issue nak kami tu, we have to condemn by by all means si galu orang dari majul. Galu of course, wana orang ni akan set hafun nisa. At issue nisa, kena kita mal gunung kami nak mal gunung dia nak jadi usaha. Dar kalau betul nanti dia bina asma rotin isi jala nadi. And actually, I have to live in a very short minute. So, well, actually, um, we'll just end it there because we, um, like Sana said, there's duty calls. I guess we would say. So, Gala, don't want to know it. You guys can finish at three minutes with uh, T, and I think uh, I'm, I'll stay. Still, I still have three minutes. I think maybe T can add uh, anything. Uh, we still have three minutes, so. Yeah, go for it, T. Yeah, I have something to add. Um, mm. uh, I, I've got a couple, a lot of things to add, but a couple of them that I want to mention is one um, to condemn what's happening in Tigray to the people of Tigray, you just need to be human. It doesn't require to be any race or any nationality to be able to condemn that. And actually to be able to condemn the actions that are happening to the Oromo people, you should be able to do that for the people of Tigray. Or you should be able to do that for other people from different areas. This is just crime against humanity and has to be called out. Now, one of the things that really worries me is the fact that this is, in my opinion, a pre meditated action. In 2018, when Abi uh, Ahmed went to Asmara to uh, sign that peace treaty with the Asmara uh, Isaiah Safariki, I think that is the time when the plan was made to destroy the entire race from this earth. And it's very disheartening to see when a government of a country allies with another government of a different country to attack his own people. Let that sink in. Let that sink in. That is very dangerous route to take. Extremely dangerous. And that's one of the biggest characteristics that differentiates what's happening in Tigray and what has been happening in Oromia. Like Sena said, ours is a very chronic issue, been going on for many, many, many years. When this thing happened in 2020, one of the biggest thing that people weren't paying attention to was since 2018, did not stop in Wallaga and Guji. The killing has continued. So our problem is chronic. However, if we are condemning what's happening in Oromia, we should also be doing the same thing in what's happening in Tigray, or if it's happening anywhere in Ethiopia or even elsewhere in the world, because that's crime against humanity, and we shouldn't tolerate that. Uh, nobody should tolerate that. The international community should not be silent, and I'm, I'm glad the news is being picked up, but action has to be taken by uh, the international community, and the Ethiopian government has to stop. Stop now. That's my message. Thank you. Thank you, T. Powerful, very powerful. So we would just, ooh, I think, um,
So we'll just conclude there. Um, Galatoma Tanojananju Sena had to leave. So she's not here for our goodbye. But Galatomi T, hopefully we can have you here more often. Um, your passion, your, you know, your every time you speak, it always hits the soul. So Galatomi for sharing your thoughts with us today. Um, yeah. Thanks for having me, Nadia. And um, uh, uh, another great person in my life <laughs> tells me all the time, um, behind the scene work, behind the scene work. When nobody's looking, what are we doing? Are, what are we doing behind the scene? Are we doing uh, the things to aid our people, to uh, mm. uh, aid, to, to, to take away sufferings? Are we doing enough behind the scene uh, to contribute to the struggle? And I challenge mm. all of your viewers and well, our viewers, now that I'm planning on to uh, be coming back again, uh, yeah. Are you doing enough behind the scene? Are you doing enough when nobody's looking? Are you putting yeah. enough so that we can reap the benefits in the near future? Uh, thank you, Nadia, for your dedication and what you've been doing with this uh, program. And uh, uh, thanks for having me. And I, I hope to come back again. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. It's a good way to leave on. It's a good question to ask our people. You know, I hope that really resonates with um, the people watching, you know, maybe to, you can say in the Fano Romo one time for the Fano Romo listeners, because it's a question that we have to continuously ask ourselves to get to where we need to go to as Oromos. Eh, yeah, Fano Romo tini, eh, wamba yenu wanu jetamun rajuru, wanda mwona deta, iya afanya kenuf, inu gargara nifkangonu, wamba yejira, ngaru kansani isne, ken motuma ito pias isne, kanni <laughs> Wakata make our race sajra, no make a team ajra, Malaka make a ken najra, organization make a ne garajra, Yurokin a kenine, hoji amama who jajer as a jeru of a gafenu Galgalgala, uh, your king Galgas told us, I'm more if you are me you te for dynam and for damity mirror. I got Muraya Muraya. The first time I hear that word. Muraya fundred abate ofilal in the days of Lalte, Ani one go children to Huduma go chandra, the Tunidan desa. Kana a Kujimanatis in Lata, Ofikes and Ofilaltani, Ani Walanso can a case at the one and a ra ega Huduma go chandra, your king go chudavi, Tatafi go chandra, I landed a tenin go to Tana, and a devil at a chuda. Can any go on a Tana? Wallanson Kenya, Garfun Brati in Era Nutin Eratus, Nutus in Javatun Jara, and Nadia Galatomi wanted to charge two fee, one in Canada, or the subject of Galatomi's injection feta, and I feel quitted by Galatomi. Galatomi, Galatomi, did you? Um, Akaguyu Janu, Torbantu to Hotu Noji Ta. Um, I hope to see you again next week, T, if you can join us. Um, viewers, please come back and join us again. Torbantu to Walid Davina. Um, until then. Have a good day, evening, night, whatever you're in. <laughs> Bye.